Hello everybody, how are you today? I thought we would use this new perspective and the background is my healing area. Now I might get up and walk around as I so feel. So don't worry if it moves a little bit, it's because sometimes I like to do a bit of Tai Chi as I am healing. So without further ado, let's ground ourselves. I'm going to pick up a beautiful tool that someone, Jennifer, has sent me from Oklahoma. And this is called a desert. Rose. Look at those gorgeous colours. So let's just draw that down your centre line. And just relax into that heaviness that is so familiar. Whether you're using this in the daytime or trying to go to sleep. Just feel all of the tension just dripping away as you relax deeper and deeper with every breath and breathe out. Nobody wants anything from you at this moment and nobody needs anything from you at this moment. Now just imagine that flame within the centre of your being, your God spark. And just glow and grow that flame to each side, to the front of you and to the back of you, as well as the top and the bottom. Expand that flame, expand it until it encompasses the whole of your auric field, encasing you within its folds of love and light and protection. As we do this little healing, I think I'll call it Reiki Helping Hands. I'll pop that there on the hand of Fatima, which stands for peace. Okay, so I'm going to draw the Tibetan master symbol to overlight this, the Daikumyo. 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 And we'll just reach for some other symbols if I find them down here. The main one is escaping me right now. There it is hidden. Okay. So these here that I hold in my hand are the tip, the Yusui, so the Japanese symbols. That is the master symbol. We've just done the Daikumyo with the Tibetan system. And now we'll draw the Seiheiki. Push that. We'll now draw the distant healing symbol. 
the huncha se That is this one, this Japanese kanji. That is the seiheiki that I just did, looking like a horse's head. And then the empowerment symbol, the choke. And I'll draw it both ways. Okay, let's start pulling and plucking some of those difficult areas within body, mind and spirit. Teasing it out. Anything that has been troubling you Things that you can't stop thinking about. Let's take this wonderful piece of amethyst to help draw and cleanse. Any pain, physical, emotional, mental. Just be open to the possibility that Reiki can help you, that energy, chi, ki. Can help. Doesn't always help, but if you're open to it and the possibilities and the belief that something is there that we can't see, I'm just going to draw that say hey key symbol into you again with this amethyst. Say hey key. Say hey key. Say hey key. And that is right over your head now, spiraling down. Okay. Now let's replace. Imagine beautiful beautiful white and blue light filling in those spaces. Filling up the spaces where we took out those thoughts, those memories, those hurts. And we fill it up so that the darkness has got nowhere to move, so it can't expand. That's right. Just not the camera then, sorry about that. I'm not used to it. Being where it is, this is only the second time I've recorded with this. Peace and healing and positive thoughts. For anyone who is watching at any time. So I'm going to create a chi ball now. And I'm going to 
imagine that that Tibetan master symbol was in, is within it. Now, as I hold this chi ball, which is expanding and pulsating, I want you to fill it up with a colour that is healing to you, that is protective, or one that you just like. And then we lift that chi ball up over your head and we bring it down just like the Tai Chi Masters, down your center line. We gather again. We bring energy in, helping it. Fresh, clean, positive chi from all of these crystals that are in this area. Let's now bring the energy in of shells just to seal that in, that beautiful, shiny energy. This is a black abalone from the Bay of California. So called because the outside is black and white. It brings balance in. These shells promote love, forgiveness, cleansing and activation and forgiveness. This beautiful pink chakra, greens and purples. You can't see it so well because I, I do have the curtains shut even though it is day. I'm going to hold this over your head. Down the front line, all the way down to your root, to the Mulhadara. Take a breath in and breathe out. So let's pick up a pendulum now. Now this particular pendulum, uh, pendulum has a weight in it. The symbol on the sides is an Atlantean symbol, we are told, called promoting harmony. So has the viewer got harmony? And that is my answer for yes. Okay. Do we need to do any more healing on the viewer? No. Okay. So this is obviously going to be a very short video. I put it back there on the amethyst bed to cleanse it because your pendulums need cleansing just like your crystals do. So I'm just going to put my hands above your head. Travel down your aura just to make sure there are no lumps and bumps. In case you're wondering, I'm using myself as a representative, as a proxy for you. And then we'll just fluff that aura up. And then we draw a grounding symbol from Yusui from the master level. This is called Raku. Grounding from the Alpha down to the Omega. Take a breath in. 
and breathe out. Before I place you into the chokere. I'm just going to draw that into you. Then I'm going to draw it around you. Chokere. Drawing it around as protection there. I knocked that camera again. Sorry about that. And then we ground with the Oklahoma Desert Rose. Relax. Relax. And just say these affirmations after me, just for today, I will not worry. Just for today, I will not anger. I will be kind to all living beings. I will do my work honestly. And I will honour my teachers, elders and advisors. Thank you for watching and love and light to everybody. See you next time.